In this video, we're gonna go through multiple important questions on how to create your first simple program. Keep watching till the end to answer if you will stay as lazy as you are right now, watching on your couch, or you're gonna move and start learning how to create your first program. To kick things off, let's start by what is programming? Programming is basically a bunch of characters you can chalk into your IDE to create something. Perhaps a new creative project. Oh my God. Programs are often referred as code, and hence programming is also known as coding. If you haven't noticed yet, but programming is literally everywhere around you. Phones, PCs, televisions, games, movies, robots, websites, etc. It what makes the like button goes blue when you hit it, and the subscribe button goes grey when you're pug, yeah. So programmers means you should be really creative with your work, if you want it to be successful, of course. It is how you get computers to solve problems. Without you, the computer is literally useless. It does what you tell it to do. That's why it's a creative task. There is no right or wrong way to solve a problem. In the same way that there is no right or wrong way to paint a picture. When you create a program for a computer, you give it a set of instructions which it will run one at a time in order, precisely as given. If you told the computer to sing the Barbie Girl song for you, it would do it. When you program, you basically create logical structures written in some programming language that human can understand that compiles usually to a binary so your computer can understand it through your CPU. Moving on to the second question in this video, which is, what is a programming language? There are many different programming languages, all of which have their own merits, and certain languages are best suited to particular types of tasks. But there is no one language that is the best. Unfortunately, computers don't understand human language, like English as example. As we have to use a programming language they can understand to give them instructions. Let's take a quick look at the small Python program that asks the user to enter the name and reply to them, but depending on what their name is. As you can see, you don't need to be a computer programmer to be able to read this code. It contains English word and it is readable. The Python code gets compiled into bytecode. Bytecode is a program encoded in accordance to specification of some virtual microprocessors. Hence, for execution, it can be either interpreted or translated into machine code and then directly executed. In this way, every bytecode is a binary code. However, not every binary code is a bytecode. So let's run now this piece of code on programmers, which I'll leave the link for it in the description, so you can try it as well. It's an online Python compiler, so you don't have to install anything on your PC for now. You see, once I hit the run button, that's what I get printed in the show. As you can tell, our program asks for our name. If it's all tracks, it will reply by me too. And then, hi Altrax, nice to meet you. Else, it will reply by hi, then the person name, then uh, nice to meet you. To knock things off, let's start by typing X as my name. Well, as you can see, it didn't reply by that's my name too, because it's not Altrax. Now let's try one more time, but with Altrax. See, that's how easy programming is. What is the best programming language for me as a beginner? As we said earlier, there is nothing called a best programming language, even if you are a beginner. More often, people just say you should learn Python because you are a beginner, but no, that's cap. It depends on what project you are trying to create. If you are trying to create a website, Python isn't the way to go. If you want to create a game, 
You can indeed do it using Python, however, it's much better to create it using C++ as example. A lot of programming languages got the same syntax, by other meaning, the same logic of how you are supposed to write your code. Now moving on to the last question, how can I start learning programming? There are many ways to learn programming, from reading documents to watching YouTube videos. You can see on the screen now some of the best websites that can teach you programming. Therefore, if I would have to do a top 3, that's how I would rank it. So, my suggested way to learn programming is not to watch a 12 hours programming video on YouTube for me, that's kind of useless to be honest. It's to check guides and read documents. Maybe start watching short videos that summarize how this programming language works. You can start by learning from a website and try to code it yourself. When you get familiar with the language, you can start watching YouTube videos that are going to get more depth into how it works. Now back to question number one. So after watching this video, Will you stay as lazy as you are right now watching on your couch? Or you're gonna move and start learning how to create your first project? Let me know in the comments below. Ciao!